this is Dr. Brown. We're going to talk in this video about um, two theorems and um, the two theorems are Rolle's theorem and the mean value theorem. Rolle's theorem says that if you have a real valued function f that is continuous on a closed interval between A and B, and it is also differentiable on the open interval A to B, and alpha of A equals alpha of B, then there exists a number C on the open interval A to B such that alpha prime of C equals zero. Therefore, uh, there is at least one point C where the slope of the uh, tangent line is exactly zero. In this example we have uh, a function f of x. Uh, it's on the interval a to b. You notice it's continuous and uh, it is also looks appears to be differentiable. Notice that f of a is equal to f of b. And in this particular example, it appears there are three points where elf prime of C1 is equal to zero, elf prime of C2 equal to zero, and elf prime of C3 equal to zero. Notice you can even imagine a function that would be going something like this, oscillating up and down, where you would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 points where elf prime at C would be equal to zero. Now here's a Rolle's theorem example we want to work. For the function f of x equals x squared minus 3x on the interval 0 to 3, we want to show that Rolle's theorem applies and find the c such that f prime of c equals 0. Notice that f of 0 is equal to 0. f of 3 is equal to 3 squared minus 3 times 3 equal 0. So f of uh, 3 equal f of 0. This function is continuous and differentiable, so there must be a point where the first derivative, which in this case is 2x minus 3, Elf prime, therefore, at some point c, which would be 2c minus 3, has to equal 0. And that, of course, is where 2c equals 3 and c equals 3 halves. So you can see over here on the graph, this is f of x equal x squared minus 3x, that at the point c equal three halves that the slope of the tangent line is zero. Now um, the mean value theorem sounds a lot like uh, Rolle's theorem uh, in that uh, the real valued function f has to be continuous on a closed interval a to b differentiable on the open interval that there then must exist a number c on the open interval such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. Know that this is the slope of the secant line between the point a and f of a and the point B and alpha B. In the uh, illustration
illustration in this uh, slide, we have a function that's continuous. It starts off at the point A in alpha of A and ends up at the point B in alpha B. Notice that the slope of the secant line is alpha B minus alpha of A divided by B minus A. And the mean value theorem says that there is some point C in between A and B such that the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the secant line. Notice in this particular illustration, it looks like there would be about two places, in fact exactly two places, where the slope of the tangent line would be equal to the slope of the secant line. In this particular example, uh, we have f of x equal x squared. We want to calculate f of 0, of course, which is 0. f of 3 is equal to 9. a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 3. So f of b minus f of a over b minus a it's going to be 9 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 equals 3. So we believe that f prime of x, which is 2x, and f prime at c is 2c, should equal 3 at some point in between um, 0 and 3. And indeed, that point is c equal to 3 halves. And you can see in the illustration here that at uh, x equal 3 halves, which is c, that the slope of that tangent line is equal to the slope of the um, secant line uh, between the two points. And that illustrates. Uh, the mean value theorem. Now there is one last thing I wanted to illustrate and that is practical example of um, the mean value theorem. Suppose you were at 1 o'clock 50 miles away from Swainsboro and then you travel to 2 o'clock, to 3 o'clock, to 4 o'clock and at 4 o'clock you were uh, 200 miles away from Swainsboro. So this point is 4 and 200, and this point is 1 and 50. And suppose you traveled not in any kind of uniform um, rate, but went at different rates. The uh, slope of the secant line is illustrated here. alpha of 4 minus alpha of 1 divided by 4 minus 1 is equal to 200 minus 50 over 3 is equal to 150 over 3 which is 50 miles per hour which is your average speed and the mean value theorem would say there is at least one point on your journey where you were going at least 50 miles an hour and looking at the uh, graph here, I would say there were two places on your journey where you're going 50 miles per hour exactly. Notice you're speeding here. You really slowed down here and even went backwards. And then towards the end, you sped up quite a bit. So that is the 
a rho theorem and the mean value theorem. 